Hey, this is Samantha from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I wanted to show you just how simple it is to reheat your favourite fried fish in the air fryer. We've grabbed some fried fish fillets from the supermarket and we'll be demonstrating with them just how easy it is to reheat your fried fish. As well as this, we have more than a thousand kitchen gadget recipes over at RecipeThis.com from air fryer recipes to instant pot recipes to slow cooker recipes to soup maker recipes plus bread maker recipes and many others. I recommend you head over there to check it out after watching this video and find your perfect recipe. These are our leftover fish fillets that we previously cooked in the air fryer. They are lemon and pepper flavour and you know we were feeding the kids as well they didn't eat all of them and we've ended up with two left over and now we want to show you how to reheat them in the air fryer simply fry basket and place the fish fillets in we also have information on how to reheat fish fillets in the air fryer over on recipethis.com they do note that the ones we were using there were thicker which will, might be good for you because maybe you're looking at these thinking mine are much bigger than these. So anyway, give them a quick spray with extra virgin olive oil before cooking them because this will help crisp them back up and you can reheat either battered or breaded fish in the air fryer. This fish is a bit smaller than the fish that I normally do so I'm going in with 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit for four minutes. Then we can check on the fish and see if it needs any longer. And we've baked. Let's check on our fish and turn them over. And wow, they've got a lovely crisp on them then, there from the extra virgin olive oil. And now I'm just putting the fork right into it so that I can see how hot it is in the middle and how much longer it needs. Right, the fork is piping hot on there, so they're nearly done. So now I'm just going to turn them over, be gentle with them because they can be fragile and can easily break. And then to crisp up the other side, just to add in a little bit of more extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to cook for a further three minutes. And then press start. And we bake. And wow, as you can tell, the fish is much crispier now and it's perfectly cooked, reheated and ideal for serving up again. Another tip I could give you is that if you love a fish, chips and mushy peas, what you could actually do is you could reheat the fish, the chips and then put your leftover mushy peas into a little ramekin and then reheat all three together in the air fryer. And this is the fish fillets that have been reheated in the air fryer. They're fantastic how crispy they become when they're air fried again. And you know, you can use any kind of battered or breaded fish. You know, you could even have been to the fish and chip shop last night and have some left over and then reheat it in the air fryer the next day. It's absolutely delicious too. And well worth doing next time you've got some fish left over and you don't quite know what to do with it. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.